After a late night watching election returns, U.S. President Barack Obama delivered a pep talk to a nation still digesting one of the biggest political upsets in U.S. history, the election of Donald Trump as America's next commander-in-chief. We are now all rooting for his success in uniting and leading the country. On Thursday, President Barack Obama hosts Donald Trump at the White House to begin the transition from one administration to the next. It is a transition that promises to bring plenty of changes to policy, not only here in the United States, but around the world. Trump has pledged to roll back global trade deals from Asia to the Americas. He's asked allies to pay more for their defense and called the Iran nuclear deal one of the worst he's ever seen. While Iran called for Trump to stick to the agreement, Trump's vow to revisit it won him support from Israel's prime minister, who says the deal endangers Israeli safety. I look forward to working with you to advance security, prosperity, and peace. But after reaching an historic global agreement to curb climate change and organizing an international coalition to fight terror group ISIL, some global leaders offered congratulations mixed with concern about the U.S. role as a global leader. France must be strong and take its responsibilities all around the world, as I have done since 2012. This context also calls for a united Europe. Our people everywhere look to the United States to use its remarkable power to help lift humanity up and to work for the common good. The current U.S. president says he tried to make all of the country's global commitments during the past eight years as durable and enduring as possible. We may learn just how tight those deals are as his successor, Donald Trump, puts them to the test. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.